The rules of the three-minute thesis are simple. One slide, three minutes, and no props or aids. But I have to be honest, I have brought props. In fact, you're all sitting in them right now. That's because my research deals with sedentary behavior, the science of sitting, and how we can use mobile devices to modify that behavior. Does that make me a cheater or just resourceful? It's about how you frame it. It's well established that excessive sitting is a risk factor for almost every chronic disease, from hypertension to obesity to cancer. And we know that the longer we sit, the greater our risk. And just given that the average Canadian is sitting for almost 11 hours a day, that's a lot of people who are at risk from sedentary behavior. And this is especially true of university students who spend hours every day sitting while studying and working. I can testify. So how do we get people to take breaks, sit less, and move more? I have another confession. I have more props. This one's probably in your pocket, considering three out of four Canadians own a smartphone. The use of mobile devices in medicine, or mHealth, isn't a new idea. In fact, it's already shown success with health behavior changes, such as smoking cessation and physical activity. The messages act as a cue for the health behavior change, and mobile devices are the ideal vessel because of their portability. But how do we optimize these messages for sedentary behaviors? My research will focus on the ideal message tailoring to get university students to increase non-sedentary behaviors, like standing or walking. We can tailor messages through message framing. Framing a message is conveying information as a gain or a loss to the recipient. For example, what would you rather hear? Breaking up your sitting with a few minutes of standing can decrease your risk for diabetes. Or, sitting for more than two hours consecutively can increase your risk of developing diabetes. We can also tailor the message through how often you'd like to receive them, when would you like to receive them, and how detailed should these messages be. By understanding the ideal message tailoring, we can develop an inexpensive and high-impact tool to get not just university students, but all Canadians sitting less and staying healthier. So stand up for your health. That's my message. Will you rise to the challenge? That's your call. Thank you.